I wanted to take a minute and uh, answer a question that was posed to me um, um, by uh, a dear brother that I've been uh, working with. And the question is, and I'll read it, it says, when do I think it's the right time to get a lawyer or an accountant for a uh, young grown business? Uh, let me start by saying, um, giving a short answer to the question first, and then I'll try to give some of my rationale behind it. Um, you should prolong getting a lawyer or an accountant in your business as long as you humanly possibly uh, reasonably can uh, for two reasons first of all lawyers do not bring in money into your business nor do accountants um, every ounce of your energy needs to be focused on building your business um, lawyers are there to protect you from legal problems uh, accountants are there to protect you from making sure that you can account for your, your resources. Uh, with that said, um, especially if you're a growing business, until you outgrow your legal understanding of the business and until you outgrow uh, your accounting understanding of the business, then keep lawyers and accountants out of it. Now, of course, sometimes there are issues that need to be dealt with and addressed. Uh, legal issues or accounting issues but that's you don't necessarily have to retain an, an attorney for that or, or a lawyer for that or an accountant a lot of times you can just find people who are simply more knowledgeable in it so I would not be spending money on something like that lawyers and accountants are not part of the business they are support functions they are people who you bring on after you have outgrown your knowledge around uh, the, the legal uh, side of your business and you've outgrown uh, the, the accounting I'm sorry has outgrown uh, uh, your you know your, your your ability to handle it uh, but more importantly you need to understand the legal issues that you might face so go ahead and face them and if you see that it's something that's over your head then you call in an attorney but that attorney should be an advisor to you they're not telling you what to do you should be hiring them because you have a problem you understand the problem you know exactly what needs to be done and therefore you can sit down and tell this person and give this person direction on what needs to be done the same thing for the accountant and so what I have found a lot of times is that what will happen is uh, uh, a person will try to hand off the responsibility the legal responsibilities in their business and hence they don't understand what's actually going on on the legal sides of their businesses uh, the same thing with the accounting you as the business owner you as the business builder you as the entrepreneur need to understand the accounting around the business now you don't have to be an accountant to do that you just have to understand it and so I would not bring any one of those persons on until I clearly understand the legal side of my business and clearly understand the accounting side now of course there are things that you just need to take care of whether that's incorporating which don't require uh, an attorney in most cases um, but you might want to have one to review what you do and uh, setting up your accounting system uh, but you only need an accountant to do that have one to review what you did so rather than spending money on people who don't directly uh, bring money into your business when you're growing, I don't think that's a good um, use of your resources and your time for that matter. So with that said, uh, the right time to get in a lawyer and the right time to get an accountant is when uh, you clearly understand the legal side and the accounting side of your business number one number two you understand it so well that you realize that you've run into a problem that you can't handle and you require some more expertise because you understand the problem so well now you are able to sit down with a lawyer or an accountant and make a healthy decision about who can help you and more importantly who can who understands the problem uh, uh, and 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 who can give you uh, resources and who can help you so really that's what they should be doing they are a support role uh, they are not people who should be telling you what to do you should be telling them what to do and that comes from you understanding the um, understanding the problem uh, I've heard people talk about a plumber for example you don't have to be a plumber but you do understand what it means to have a clogged sink so it's the same thing you don't have to be a lawyer but you do understand when you have a legal problem you don't have to be an accountant to understand when you have a, an accounting problem and until you get to a point where uh, I say it again that uh, the legal problems and the accounting issues of the business have outgrown you I would not spend money on that so anyway that's what my answer to the question uh, keep them coming and I uh, hope that helped